this episode of Conducting Pills, we'll dive into the romantic music of Karłowicz's serenade for strings. Hi, I'm Jamari Grillo, I'm a conductor and a composer, and welcome to this new episode of Conducting Pills, a series where we look into a classical piece or a part of it and outline its structure and phrasing, orchestration and harmony, with bonus technical tips for conductors. I want to take a second to remind you that on my website you can find now more than 70 videos between score and technical analysis, the full episodes of Conducting Pills on top of the live sessions and plenty of other material. And now, let's begin! The name of Mieczysław Karłowicz remained unfamiliar to the most for decades. In the recent past, though, his music has gained a new appreciation, and not only by the close circles of music nerds like myself. So much that it is included not just in regular programming, but also in conducting auditions. The fact of the matter is that Karłowicz didn't have enough time. Born in 1876, he died in 1909 because of a hiking accident. He was born in present-day Belarus to Jan, a Polish historian and musician. From an early age, he began studying the violin, for which he would later compose his only concerto. In his short life, Karłowicz wrote a symphony in E minor, a violin concerto in A major, and several symphonic poems, including Odwieczne Piesni, Peronial Songs, Stanisławy Anna Oswiecimowie, and Powracające Fale, Waves That Return. He composed several songs for voice and piano, but unfortunately many of his compositions were lost during the Second World War. His compositions are written in a late Romantic style and show affinities with those of Richard Strauss, Alberic Magnal and Isaac Albeniz. Karłowicz's music is at the highest levels of Polish music, between that of Friedrich Chopin and that of Karol Szymanowski. The Serenade for Strings premiered in 1897 under the baton of then Karłowicz's teacher Heinrich Urban. It is in four movements, March, Romance, Waltz, Finale, and it shows Karłowicz's talent for lyrical lines and his affinity with Tchaikovsky and Dvorak's music. By the way, you can find Dvorak's serenade right here. The first movement begins with a 20 bars introduction. The cellos and basses pose a four bar question to answer by the violins. The phrase is repeated, reaching higher, and the violin's answer serves as a bridge to the march. The structure of this movement is kind of unusual for a first movement. The introduction leads to a march with two themes, and the short, faster section leading back to the march concludes the first part. Then we have a trio, something typical of a menuet or a scherzo, generally third movement of these kinds of compositions, also split in two parts. And finally, a repeat of the march with the addition of a coda. The first theme is assertive, but not too much in your face if you pardon the expression. Second violins and violas actually add a touch of gentleness at the end of the second and fourth bar. One point that needs attention in this first movement is the first ritardando. It's a big retard in the span of only one bar. To make it work musically, you need to use a short downbeat as the hook point and expand your gesture. Then stop on the last beat and give a pickup in the new tempo. Also, if you started in two, go into four at bar 19. There is the rhythm and the character of the march here, but it's not a rustic march. It's never violent or too heavy, but much more on the elegant side. Second time around, the first violins play in octaves, and notice how Karlovich often splits the section violins and violas play in divisi in order to gain different voicings and acoustical effects. From a G major, we jump to an E flat 7 chord, dominant to A flat, and the second theme comes in. Notice that flourishing of half of the second violins. The phrase structure throughout the whole movement is extremely clear, almost classical, as in Haydn and Mozart, in its mathematical proportions. The march was built on two eight-bar phrases, and so is the second theme. Moreover, the first eight bars of the second theme can be split into two four-bar phrases, and even further. The first four bars are a phrase of two plus two. All of a sudden, the first drama since the beginning of the piece bursts in with a powerful F minor and the added weight of the double basses. Notice that the rhythmic bass is always the same of the very first bar of the march. 
except that the second beat is now dotted. Four bars and an accelerando built on the dotted rhythm takes us to the vivo section. The vivo, which means lively, section is nothing but a bridge which in six bars takes us back to a repetition of the first phrase. Some small changes like the extending chromaticism of the second violins and the end of the phrase and the first part of the march. Closes. The tempo slows down slightly for the trio, which moves to G major and maintains the march rhythm. Within four bars, we modulate to B minor. And then back to G major with a classic repeat. The second part of the trio definitely reminds me of Dvorak, both for the passion and main line and for the treatment of the accompaniment. The second half of this section employs the musical material of the first part of the trio in order to close the phrase again in G major. After a canonical repeat, the march is repeated almost entirely with the addendum of a coda. An energic build-up takes us to the humos, which makes use of both the first musical idea and its dotted variant, closing the movement in a powerful C major. The second movement has the qualities of a nocturnal romance, again reminding of Dvorak. Karlovich starts again with an introduction. The key signature suggests an A-flat major or an F minor. As a matter of fact, the first chord is a C9. But it's a decoy. The harmonic scenario remains unstable, letting us wonder what's going to happen and where we will A bit of clarity comes after eight bars where the A-flat chord dominates. And four bars after, we are introduced to a theme, lovely sung by the cellos, playing espressivo in their mid-high register. This beautiful eight bars phrase closes in C minor. Violas and first violins create a small bridge. And the cellos express all their pathos again, answered by the first violins. The single 16 notes rhythmic element of the theme serves as a bridge. Look at how it's stretched by the first violins, answering the cellos in the second half of the bar. The anxiety palpitates in the syncopations of the second violins and violas. This anxiety takes over in the rising progression of four bars, exploding in fortissimo with dialogue between first and second violins. The tension wears off and the main rhythmic cell returns, connecting to the reprise of the main theme. The main theme is sung once again by the cellos, but this time we have a counter melody on top, played by the first violins, while the accompaniment has changed much more than the initial pizzicato. The phrase is taken over by the first violins in octaves, while the counter melody goes to the violas. And the phrase now opens on a typically romantic forte and then slowly folds back, using once again the now very well-known rhythmical cell. The same cell is used to build the coda, closing the movement in A flat major. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button right below the video and ring the bell so you will get notified every time a new video comes out.
For more in-depth analysis, conducting technique and conducting exercises, look on my website and follow my Facebook group. All the links are in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about this piece, if you have any suggestions for future videos, and I look forward to seeing you next week with a new episode of Conducting Pills, when we will go through the second part of this beautiful serenade. In the meanwhile, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao in Dujando on bar 28 needs a slightly slower pulse. Prepare this by slowing down the speed of your baton on the second and beat. smaller gestures from the wrist. Go into two at the vivo, return into four bar 57 and repeat 